Howdy. The last Marvel crossovers figure I have to review is the recolor of Venom, Carnage. Red and black replace the black and metallic purple of the original. And the deco is exactly the same, minus the hood logo. Most of the silver paint apps remain. While not a bad colour scheme, it just doesn't measure up to Venom's. This is very striking and very stealthy, one might say. It also has a strong evil vibe. Carnage just looks kind of bland by comparison. The mould is still very good in this mode. It's proportionate, very solid, and still has these teeth moulded onto the grill. So this still looks evil, just to a lesser extent. Obviously, this has the same finicky transformation as the original. In mech mode, all of Venom's pluses and minuses apply to Carnage, but again, the colour scheme just doesn't look as cool or as evil. Also, the lack of a logo on the hood results in a very plain looking chest. And this hurts the overall appearance. He's still got that detailed head sculpt and the wire slash vein markings in some places. Back in my Venom review, I said that the real Venom was a slim character. Turns out he's a bit bulkier than that. I hear that Carnage is the one that's thin. If so, then the blocky proportions that this mech has look even worse in Carnage's case. The only reason I have this was because I couldn't find Venom at the time. And if I had found Venom first, I wouldn't have bothered with this one. So only buy Carnage if you want this mold and can't find Venom whatsoever. Next I'm reviewing another redeco, Swerve from Revenge of the Fallen.